Hey guys, welcome back. Let's start with introduction to law of contract. What do we mean by contract when we are saying law of contract, mercantile law, business law, commercial law, whatever we are saying. Law of contract is an important aspect without which any business law or any commercial law is not going forward. So first we need to understand what is contract. So when we are saying contract, we are getting a definition from the Indian Contract Act 1872. Yes, 1872 is the year when the law was passed and we are talking about that act. Yes, it was during the British era, British Raj, whatever you call it. This is a very old contract or very old law we can say, but uh, the definition or the provisions are still up to date and they very well apply to the current scenario as well. So we are getting a definition. According to section 2 subsection H of the contract act 1872, an agreement enforceable by law is a contract. Now, if you are just worried about how to remember this section, remember, for any law, section 2 is supposed to be the definition section. So, you look at any law, whether it is Contract Act, Partnership Act, Sale of Goods Act, whatever it is. Section 2, you will find all the definitions. So, again, for the Contract Act also, we are having section 2, subsection H, which talks about contracts. So, it says, an agreement enforceable by a law is a contract. So we need to understand two things. One is called agreement and it should be enforceable by law. So again, the next question comes, what do we mean by an agreement and what do you mean by enforceability by law? So I have given in the form of an equation, contract is equal to agreement plus enforceability by law. So let's just try to understand what do we mean by agreement. So section 2 subsection E defines agreement. Again, I have given it in the form of equation if you just look at the top of the slide it says agreement is nothing but offer plus acceptance but what do we mean by it every promise and every set of promise forming consideration for each other is called an agreement a promise and a, a set of forming consideration for each other a set of promises forming consideration for each other now this is a technical term it is a legal term section 2 subsection e again but in simple words Agreement means promises made between the parties forming consideration. So if I make a promise to you and if there is a consideration. Now what is consideration? Consideration is nothing but the value that is there. Again, we will learn consideration in deep detail with every section, with every definition. We are just adding one new word. Contract means an agreement which is enforceable by law. So we are trying to learn what is an agreement. Agreement means a promise. The promise which has a consideration. So we need to understand promise. We can understand promise is nothing but I promise to do something to you. That is a promise. So that is what we are trying to say. But it should have a consideration. That is again one more condition added to it. So next we need to understand what do we mean by promise. Promise is nothing but section 2 subsection B says a proposal when accepted becomes a promise. Just look at the picture that I have added to this slide. Whenever we are saying a proposal, proposal is nothing but another word for proposal is offer. A promise is an accepted proposal we are saying. So a proposal, if I propose to do something and if you accept it, yes, that I, I, I you allow me to do that particular thing, then I am bound by that promise, by proposal. If I say I will be buying this particular car for a value of rupees 1 lakh and you say, yes, I am willing to sell it to you for a value of rupees 1 lakh then the proposal that I made to you that I will buy this car and you have accepted my proposal right and does it have a consideration yes the 1 lakh is a consideration over here now as I mentioned we, we will be learning consideration in detail so for now we just need to understand that consideration means there is some value to it there is some we are not doing anything for free if we are doing it for free that will be called as charity and we will not call it as promise or agreement or contract whatever it is but if it has a value that means it has a consideration and then the proposal that I made to buy and once you accept that proposal it becomes a promise and I need to deliver on my promise I cannot go uh, back on my words right so that is what means a promise according to section 2 subsection B a proposal when accepted becomes a promise now what is a proposal again one more thing imagine just uh, not imagine just try to remember we started with what we started with contract contract means an agreement enforceable by law still enforceability we haven't even checked upon enforceability means something that you, that you can take to the court something that you can you know make it enforce if it goes wrong something that is allowed by the law 
that is what is called enforceability it has it, it has that power of you know uh, going to the court of law that is what is called enforceability so enforceability we didn't even touch upon what we are looking at the first part contract is equal to agreement plus enforceability enforceability is something that you can you know make it enforceable in the court make it legal in the eyes of the law that is what is called enforceability but what is agreement agreement is nothing but a promise now what is a promise uh, a agreement means promise plus consideration but what is a promise promise is nothing but a ec offer plus acceptance what is offer other word for offer is proposal so an offer once it is accepted becomes a promise now one more term we have got like two terms offer and acceptance we need to understand what do we mean by offer and what do we mean by acceptance so what is an offer or what is in a proposal section 2 subsection a when one person signifies to another his willingness to do or to abstain from doing anything with a view of abstaining assent of that and the person to such an act or abstinent he is said to make a proposal now here it should not be a view of abstaining it should be a view of obtaining so what we are trying to say again if you actually go to the bare law and we you start uh, studying uh, the indian contract act you will see the this is the first definition that you are going to study under section 2 because section 2 subsection a but if we would have started like this it would have been complicated what we are going step by step the uh, what the uh, topic the law itself says indian contract act so we know india means something that applies to india act means law but the act says contract what is contract that is how we started with contract is an agreement which is enforceable by law now what is an agreement agreement is nothing but an offer and uh, an offer uh, and acceptance and something called as consideration now what is offer that we are looking at offer is nothing but again the other word for other word for offer is proposal so we are just trying to look into what is proposal or what is offer when offer means when one person signifies to another one person signifies means expressing to another what willingness to do or abstain from doing means willingness to do or not to do if i am expressing to you whether i will do this thing or maybe i can say that i will not do this th do this thing why am i saying all these things with the view of obtaining assent assent means consent of that another like if i am saying to you that i will do this thing or i will not do this thing like i will buy your car for rupees 1 lakh or i can also say that i will not buy your uh, car for rupees 1 lakh these are the two things one i am willing to do the other one i am not willing to do why am i doing this to obtain your assent means you should be saying yes that is what you should be accepting it whether i'm do uh, willing to do that also should be accepted uh, or if i'm not willing to do that should also be accepted that is my intention right whether it will be accepted or not that is a different thing when you accept it that means it is accepted and if it is accepted we will call it as a promise but until and unless it is not accepted it will just remain a proposal that i am expressing my willingness to buy your car or i can also express that i will not buy your car and why am i expressing it to you because i want your acceptance if i'm saying i will buy your car my intention is that you should say yes that you can buy my car and if i'm saying i will not buy your car again my intention is to clarify that you should be saying yes that yes you cannot buy my car so it is very much clear the proposal means when one person signifies to another his willingness to do or to abstain from doing anything with the view of obtaining assent of that another person to such act or abstinence in either way whether positive way or negative way negate in a negative way he said to make a proposal this is what we mean by proposal now once that proposal is accepted then it is called acceptance acceptance should not be conditional whatever it is if i am saying i will buy your car you should be saying yes if i am i am saying i will not buy your car to that also you should be saying yes if you say no that that means it is not accepted and if it is not accepted then there cannot be a promise promise will be there only if your proposal is accepted as it is whatever i propose to you you say like if i am saying would you marry me if you say yes then only the marriage would happen if you are saying no then there is no marriage that is how we are trying to say like whatever proposal it is whatever offer has been made if it is accepted as it is without any condition 
well and fine but if not then we cannot go ahead there is where that is where we are stopping we are not going forward with our promise or it like the uh, it remains just an offer the offer is not at all accepted and if it is not accepted it cannot be called as a promise if it is not a promise there is no condition we are not even going to check whether there is a consideration or not if there is a promise then we are checking whether there is a consideration if there is a consideration we will call it as agreement and if that agreement is legal in the eyes of law enforceable in the eyes of law we can say yes it is a contract but if your offer itself is not getting accepted we are not going forward we are not moving forward we are not saying anything so whatever it is when we are saying acceptance it should be accepted as it is so just look at this definition as per section 2 subsection b when a one person to whom proposal is made yes again that is very important who is accepting it if i am saying if i am asking you would you marry me it should be you who should be accepting not somebody else so if somebody else accepts then uh, it it's something different i did not propose to that person so i'm not not bound to perform if i propose to you that i want to buy your car if you say yes then i can buy but if somebody else is saying then i did i am not bound it is the other person who is making a proposal now i have the choice whether to accept it or not so again it is something different so when a person to whom proposal is made signifies signifies means conveys his assent assent means consent there to the proposal is said to be accepting or accepted so it is important who should be accepted there is no condition acceptance is very simple acceptance means giving consent so when a person to whom proposal is made signifies his assent there to the proposal is said to be made that is how simple it is whatever it is in either way now we have in detail offer and acceptance but these are the very basis once the offer is made it should be accepted if it is accepted it becomes a promise if the, if there is a consideration the promise becomes an agreement and if the agreement is enforceable we can call it as contract right that is what we are trying to say yes so far we studied whatever we were talking about contract means an agreement enforceable by law and agreement means offer plus acceptance so we uh, and try to understand what is an offer offer is when one person signifies to another his willingness to do or not to do with a view of obtaining the consent or assent of that person he said to make a proposal and if that proposal is accepted by the person to whom it is made it is called acceptant acceptant and that acceptant uh, accepted proposal that acceptance uh, uh, ex it is called acceptance and that acceptance when it is there it becomes an accepted proposal or a promise and that promise is an agreement and but agreement alone does not become a contract to become a contract that agreement should be enforceable by law so what is enforceability by law when the parties to the contract can approach the court of law for enforcing their respective rights and duties in the contract whatever agreement you have made if you can go to the court for that agreement to enforce your duties and responsibilities then only we can call it as that agreement is enforceable by law and if it is enforceable by law then then only we can call it as a contract if it is not enforceable we cannot call that agreement a contract let's suppose i enter into an agreement like we both of us like you and me let's take an example that we enter into an agreement to buy and sell drugs now you imagine if that agreement goes wrong like let's suppose i am supplying drugs to you and you are selling it and after selling you are not giving me my money back now what should i what can i do can i go to the court to enforce my uh, rights that my uh, your obligation your responsibility and my right that i should be getting money from you because we have entered into a partnership to sell drugs in the open market tell me can we go to the court no obviously not selling drugs is not legal it was an agreement yes we entered there was a promise i made a promise that i will be supplying drugs to you and you will be selling in the market now now if i'm not supplying or you're not paying me for that like let's suppose let's take a very basic example we entered into an agreement i i proposed that i will sell drugs to you for consideration you said yes you will buy the drugs now i'm giving the drugs to you but you're not paying me back now can i go to the court to recover my money from you no obviously not because the agreement that we entered there was an offer there was an acceptance and there was a consideration also but that consideration broke you did not pay me back now can like with these condition with the offer and acceptance we can call it as an agreement there was a promise there was a consideration it becomes an agreement but can that agreement be enforced in the eyes of law no obviously not so if we cannot enforce it in front of law we cannot call it as a contract it will just remain an agreement agreements can be illegal also but contracts cannot be if something is illegal it cannot be a contract itself because contract says it should be enforceable 
so in the eyes of indian contract act anything that is enforceable to the law that will only be considered as contract otherwise it will not it will just remain an agreement right if it satisfy all the conditions and of of offers and acceptance or proposal promises consideration whatever it is otherwise it will be not right now there again how do we make that uh, if it satisfies all the conditions there is something called as section 10 of the indian contract act so section 10 clarifies what are the conditions of an a uh, contract or on of an agreement to become a contract right whatever it is when we are saying a contract it is enforceable by law that means it should fall under section 10 10 it should satisfy all the conditions of section 10 now what are those conditions let's look at all those things right all agreements are contract these this is the definition this is the condition of section 10 all agreements are contracts we said agreement means an offer and acceptance when an offer is accepted it becomes an agreement and that agreement is a contract like every kind of agreement is a contract when all agreements are contracts if they are made by yes these are the conditions what is first free consent of the parties free consent means there was no burden there was no liability it was made freely by them free consent does not mean there is no money involved money is something different free consent means there was no pressure whatever you have decided whether it is the promiser or the promisee like the offerer or the acceptor whoever it is all the parties of the agreement are free to make their own decisions if they have made their decisions by themselves yes it that agreement becomes a contract but again competent to contract the parties who have made their decisions the parties of whom consent you have taken are they competent to contract now what is competent to contract there are certain conditions law has very much clarified who are the persons who are competent to contract if you are not competent if you are not having the capacity to enter into a contract whatever decision you have made whatever agreement you have entered it will never qualify as a contract because you are not eligible to enter into a contract you are not competent you don't have the capacity to co- enter into a contract so again competency is very important again if made by the free consent of the parties what kind of parties parties who are competent to contract why are we making such an agreement for a lawful consideration yes for a lawful consideration and with a lawful object consideration is something that you are getting in return and the object should also be lawful if your object is not lawful then also that agreement will not qualify like i gave you the example of buying and selling drugs what was the object object was buying and selling of drugs is buying and selling drugs legally allowed no it is not lawful it is not legal some something that is not lawful object itself is not there then the agreement will never be contract and are not expressly declared as void void means what void means something that does not qualify law is like void is something for which there is no law as such something that is out of law that is called being void Ill law legal and illegal is limited legal means something that law has defined and illegal means something that law says it is illegal but void means something for which there is no law as such it is not at all defined in the law that is what is called being void so whatever you are entering it should not there are certain things which law has declared void that these things we are not covering so if your agreement is about all those things then again it will be called as void and it will never qualify as a contract so again just look at the same definition all agreements are contracts if they are made by free consent of the parties competent to contract for a lawful consideration and with a lawful object and are not expressly declared as void simple it is now if we are just trying to break down the same definition we are having certain points under section 10 what are the conditions now again yeah the uh, if we just break down this thing uh, i'm sorry just i went to the next slide uh, by mistake but again what we are trying to say just break down these things what are the conditions Se- section 10 says all agreements are contracts again to become an agreement there should be offer there should be acceptance two things then if they are made by free consent third thing there should be free consent of the parties fourth they should be competent to contract now fifth there is should be a lawful consideration next there should be lawful object and last thing it is saying 
they should not be expressly declared as void so these are the conditions these are the things which make a agreement into a contract now this is the last slide but let's take a revision how did we start with we started with contract contract is agreement plus enforceability what is agreement agreement is offer plus acceptance what is offer offer is nothing uh, like uh, agreement is a promise what is promise promise is offer plus acceptance what is offer or in other words we call it as proposal also what is proposal proposal is when one person signifies to another his willingness to do or not to do with the view of obtaining assent of that another person to such an act or abstinence he said to make a proposal like i said i uh, proposed to you whether i want to buy or not that is like why did why did i made a proposal to get your consent to get your acceptance and when it is accepted that is called acceptance and when the offer is accepted it is called an agreement but that agreement alone does not become a contract to become a contract it should be enforceable enforceability means we can take it to the court and when we can take it to the court when it satisfies all the conditions of section 10 and what are those conditions these are the conditions the condition of section 10 says all agreements are contracts if they are made by free consent of the parties competent to contract for a lawful consideration and a lawful object and are not expressly declared as void so with this we are done with our introduction part of indian contract act what do we mean by contract this was all about understanding the basic understanding of contract what is contract right thank you